During the Lebanon War, the Hezbollah managed to shoot down an Israeli troop-carrying helicopter with an anti-tank missile. Five aircrew members were killed. The downing of a helicopter in the course of a war has a significant meaning beyond the human life and money lost and beyond the destruction of a war machine. Now, following the war, the Israel Air Force is speeding up procurement of a system that could provide a response to the threat of anti-aircraft fire against its helicopters. מערכת שהיא כמובן מגינה עליהם בפני התקפות מהסוג הזה, או שהיא מסיטה את האיום הצידה, או שהיא מפוצצת אותו, או שהיא מטעטעת בו, וככה הוא לא מגיע לפגיעה ישירה בפלטפורמה, במטוס. It is a proactive system which uses electronic systems to neutralize the threat the helicopter faces from anti-aircraft missiles. The system picks up the missile in the air, neutralizes the threat, and the helicopter continues onward without suffering any damage. מגביר גם את האמון של המשתמשים, של המוטסים בפלטפורמות האלה, שהם יותר מוגנים, ישפר את מערכת, ה... מערכת ההגנה, ואני מתאר לעצמי שבקצב אפשרי, מקסימלי אפשרי, זה ייכנס לכל ה... During the war, the system was already installed in some of the Air Force helicopters and proved itself in real time against Hezbollah attacks. Unfortunately, it wasn't installed in the downed helicopter. The Lebanon war was a sort of test of the technological abilities of the West versus those of the East, and the result wasn't great. The anti-aircraft and anti-tank missiles, to a great extent, neutralized the maneuvering abilities of the West. Up to now, the proactive defense system for tanks in the battlefield of the future has been been publicized, now it turns out there exists a solution for the helicopters, and hopefully, in case of war, it will be able to be used to achieve victory.